I'm Alexis Hyde and I'm the art curator here at Quinn Emanuel and I run the Artist in Residence program here. Here was an advocacy for artists that was very simple and straightforward and really let me do what I do best, which is just get down and get to work. John's always been very concerned about how we can support artists as a patron. For an artist to just be able to spend time on their craft, to take chances and delve in subject matters that are not necessarily commercial. It's such a luxury. This round we have Francisco Palomares and Tony De Los Reyes. They're both incredible Los Angeles artists. Tony is doing a whole series on the Mexico-California border. When I applied for the residency, I said I was going to do a new piece based on lithographs and silkscreen of a piece of photography and algorithms generated by data from the border crossing. He's exploring it through different kinds of patterns and he's exploring it through colors. I use five colors for these new paintings. The colors are important because they are the colors of the U.S.-Mexico flags. Using these colors in my paintings is a way of describing the abstract. The work is about finding who I am through how I got here and how I was taught to think and how I can create a new way of intersecting those two different things. Francisco is a painter. I went to California State University, Long Beach, and I studied drawing and painting, a very classical approach. Almost like a Renaissance technique of his paintings. The detail's incredible and the light and shadow play is like a real priority. And he's taking those techniques and he's putting them through like a contemporary Mexican-American lens. My art is basically a, like a visual diary, a documentation of my life experiences as I go through my artistic career, which is like kind of very intertwined with my identity and culture and where I find myself in the present geographically. Francisco has been biking from where he lives in the Arts District and he's encountering all of these different people and so now he's working on these portraits of people that he encounters on his way. The figures that I paint, are, I feel like, are part of like the ecosystem of LA. It's just like selling flowers or selling incense is very much part of a community that you don't really notice if you're like not paying attention. Having that part of the creative experience happening here has been such a privilege. I actually got a lot of energy out of the residency. It really propelled me towards where I'm going to be in the next six months and the kind of new work I'm going to be focused on. It's an amazing feeling. The benefits of a residency that's giving you free reign allows you to experiment and take chances and really go through the process of creating an art piece. And it's not just like a commodity. I'm not thinking about, is this going to sell? And just really just make the artwork. We value artists and we think it's important, part of the fabric of our lives. It was amazing. I'm really going to miss this place. It hasn't been a vacation, but it has felt liberating like a vacation. It's been really great. It's just been really wonderful to be a part of. This is my experience, that glimpse of Los Angeles, a record of a time and moment. When I say goodbye to this fantastic place, I'll keep with me all of the amazing things I was able to do here. It's really fantastic.